All right, welcome back to another monthly market update. We are in the month of May here in 2021. Can't believe how fast this year has gone by. The real estate market has been absolutely bananas. Let's dive in, take a look, see where we stand. As always, we look at the leading indicators of where the market is heading. So if you're someone that's thinking about buying or thinking about selling, this is the information you need to know to, to figure out if that's the best decision for you moving forward. So let's talk about it. Again, this is for San Diego County, all of San Diego County for attached and detached homes. First thing that we look at. Now we're comparing the same 30 days this year compared to, compared to 2020, the same 30 days. New listings to hit the market in the last 30 days in 2020, 3,012. This year, 3,854. That number's up 28%. Pending homes, these are the ones that accepted an offer and went into escrow last year, 1,911. This year, 3,586. That number's up 88%. Supply, this is the total amount of homes for sale right now in the county. 6,293 was the number we were at this time last year. Right now we're at 2,503, that number's down 60%. Days on market, how long does it take for a home to sell? Last year it was 26 days, this year it's 20. That number's down 23%. Now a lot of people say, well Ryan, they're, they're, it seems like they're selling a lot faster than that. This factors in all of them. So this factors in the $20 million homes in La Jolla that takes typically takes some time to sell. It also it includes the homes out in out in East and Del Zura and, and Hakumba, things like that, that tend to take a little bit more time to sell as well. So that's why um, it may seem higher than what, uh, what you're experiencing. That's why. Um, median sales price right now. Last year it was 605, this year it's $730,000. That number's up 20%. Average sales price right now. Last year at this time, 731,000. Right now it's $964,000. That number's up 32%. But what does all this mean? So let, let's talk about it. now. If you've been keeping up with our monthly market updates, I've been saying that we're, we're going to start experiencing some big numbers that are different than last year because, well, we're in May. Last May, uh, the people were kind of unsure and almost panicking a little bit uh, because we were in the thick of it as far as coronavirus is concerned and there was a lot that we didn't know. So clearly, there's going to be less homes on the market right now than there was last year. And fewer people were buying at this time last year. So clearly there's gonna be more coming off the market. Inventory is still really low. Uh, the things that, that really stand out to me are not necessarily these numbers. So these numbers, I, for the next few months, I think we can't really pay attention too much because that's when everything, right now is when everything hit the brakes last year in COVID, for COVID in the real estate world and in everybody's world. But one thing that stood out was in the last 30 days, we've had more listings hit the market, then came off, which everybody's been talking about how low the inventory is, right? And it's been very, very low. But in the last 30 days, more listings came on than came off. So does that mean that in the coming months, we're gonna start seeing uh, inventory climb up? Now, these three numbers are going to be way off for the next couple months just because of COVID. Everything hit the, hit the brakes this time last year. But if this continues, if there's more coming on and less coming off in the same 30 days, inventory is going to go up. If inventory goes up, there's going to be more options for buyers. Sellers could experience fewer showings, fewer buyers, fewer offers possibly. Um, a lot has to change for that. This number has to go up pretty significant before we're really going to start seeing impact. But is that the first sign of maybe things might be changing? I don't really know, but prices clearly have gone significantly up. These are huge numbers. Um, now, if you're looking, if you're thinking about buying, again, which I always preach is the one most important thing to look at if you're thinking about buying is your interest rates. That's the one thing that can either cost you a ton of money over time or save you a ton of money or, uh, over time. And I think now, if you're someone that's looking to buy, is a time to contact your real estate agent and really plan out what your time frame is. If you said, Ryan, I wanna buy now and sell in two or three years, I would probably tell you that's not the best idea. And if you still want to do that, let's make sure that property can pay for itself if you had to rent it out if things change in the market. If you are planning on buying a house and holding on to it and living in there for the next seven to 10 years, now that's a completely different plan. So before you buy, make sure you reach out to your real estate agent, sit down with them and come up with the best plan, figure out where we are in the market cycle when you're looking to buy to figure out if it's the best time for you or if you're, what you're wanting to do falls in, in, a, in line with, with where we are in the market. So if you're a seller, 
we're still seeing great prices, great prices on listings. We have started to see the number of showings go down, showing requests across the county have gone down. Is that something, uh, a sign of, of things changing? Possibly, I don't know, it's too early to tell, but stay tuned. We're gonna keep you up to speed every month on, on what's happening. Keep an eye on these numbers, and uh, if, if this continues to happen, good old inventory is gonna start coming up, So and that which could, could definitely change the market. If we can help you guys out in any way, just know we're always around, happy to help you out. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next month. Take care.